I was born in Kaurau and um, it's a little milling town that um, had a pulp and paper mill and so my mother was a teacher there and my father um, was a newly articled lawyer. I was only three when we left and we came up to Freeman's Bay. It's an area that at that stage was very different. It was hopping and bopping. Um, my mother was really dynamic and so she um, was the chair of the um, school and I'm really proud of some of the things she did. She's actually a remarkable woman who um, grew up with a lot of pain. Like her father had um, quite severe mental illness and her mother was one of those women at that time, you didn't leave your partner, you tolerated them. Um, so um, I suspect quite a bit of damage was done, but she wasn't a person who um, sold. She was a person who was incredibly optimistic. And that kind of openness was actually true of both my parents. And she's, she's actually got dementia now, and but she's still like that. She's still actually a really warm person. And it's um, very lucky that I've kept that part of her, even though her short-term memory really isn't great. Yeah, and tougher for my father. It's really hard, but she's lovely, and that is a, there's not, that's not always a given with dementia, so that's good. But my father's 92, and they living in their own house uh, because that's what they want. Um, but it's, it's, it is, it's a constant worry. When I went to England, because my boyfriend had gone um, to San Francisco and then on to England and I went to join him so um, I married him and we had three children and they're really gorgeous so I have a 28 year old and a 24 year old and a 22 year old um, it was you know it was tough like it is when you've got little kids you've got no money I remember when we had our first child and um, we had no money and I was bringing this child home who'd been in intensive care. My husband borrowed $500 off his dad and then we bought uh, Max here and then we, later on we renovated the house and we wrapped up the carpets and it was actually wet and he had had pneumonia and we'd had him in our room which was actually like physically wet. Like, I can't believe I did that, but I did do it. And it was just like, that was the way it was, right? You didn't have the money and you didn't even know better. My mother had always taught me, yeah, you can do everything. Um, that was a lie. <laughs> you can do everything badly. <laughs> yeah, so I felt at that time when I had little kids that I was failing at everything. And that was a really, really hard time. Um, I, it was bad for my confidence. It was very challenging. The idea of Parliament was in my I, uh, in my mind a long time ago, but then it went away. Like, um, you know, your life gets busy and you've got children, and um, I I always thought that it was really important that people who do um, political things have really grounded experience. And um, employment law is an incredible uh, window into people's lives, and you actually can make a real difference. I didn't think I got in um, because I'd lost to Chloe on the night and I was low enough on the list that I actually didn't think I was in. I had to do the numbers. In fact, what happened was that David Parker had to call me and convince me I was in. That's true. It was great. He was like, yeah, you're in. You have to come down to Wellington. Yeah. He's a pretty low key kind of guy. <laughs> I think I bring a whole lot of humanity to it. That experience of um, bringing up my kids, working, um, the wider connections that I have, the work that I did, is all actually really important.